We always farmed here for a long time. 1855 is as far back as we can trace it. I'm one of the sons. My mom and dad, uh, Richard and Rita Fitch, are the owners, and I'm one of the next generation that's going to be taking it over, hopefully. All the stuff that we grow here, we sell here, we always say from A to Z, anywhere from asparagus to zucchini. We start in the spring with asparagus, and then it goes right into strawberries, and then quickly turns into tomatoes, peppers, sweet corn, zucchini, lettuces. We have a lot of fall stuff, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, kohlrabi. Pretty much anything that's grown in this part of the state or this part of the country, we, we try to grow it here as much as possible. Right now, it's kind of harvest time, so it's so literally every morning get up, put my rubber pants on so I don't get soaking wet in my boots and out there picking peppers, tomatoes, sweet corn, you know, pumpkins, you know, anything. We usually open up mid-April, you know, give or take what the weather, you know, what the weather is going to be. And we usually close first week in November, same thing. If it's nice weather, we'll stay open as long as we can. We have a lot of the later stuff such as uh, cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. So even after we're done in the fall with pumpkins and fall decorations, we do have some of that stuff. Pick your own. We start in the spring. We always tell people the first week in June when kids get out of school is more or less kind of what we shoot for depending on what Mother Nature has, you know, has in store. And then we'll do uh, green and yellow beans. And then it goes from that, usually rolls right into peppers, anywhere from like the world's hottest pepper to sweet green red bell peppers that you would stuff. We do a lot of canning tomatoes. People like to can their own tomato sauce and juice and then we have the aroma tomatoes that a lot of the people make their own homemade spaghetti sauce. Our fields are spaced out so you're not able to walk around the farm and just pick a few of this and a few of that. It's more for quantity, people that want to can and jar stuff and or freeze it. I think people are want to have the fresh homegrown. Even if it's in January, you pull it out of your freezer, you know where it came from. I'm seventh generation, my kids are eighth generation farmers. It's all been on this land. We take great pride in what we put out. Everything that's sold here is picked either the night before or the day of. Our motto is Fitch Farm Fresh, fresh is best. You know where it's come from, come get your fresh local produce right here in Avon, Ohio, just a stone's throw from Cleveland. Mm -hmm.